Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Instant Name Your Game Dev, and today we'll be making this door's handle animate. So when you see when I open the door, it uh, plays an animation, but when I close the door, it doesn't. This is totally a setting you can adjust on your own. I wanted to simulate how some people close doors without actually pulling on the handle. So um, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so before we can actually animate the door handle, we need to add the door handle to our door. Now, um, if you have been following with the previous tutorials, or at least... Uh... Okay, so before we can actually animate the door... Okay, so before we can actually animate the door handle, we need to add the door handle. Now, if you've been using the same model I have been linking down below, then you can just go ahead and open up that zip file again, and just drag in the door handle. So open up your content browser, go ahead and drag, drag in the door handle. And uh, there's only one setting you need to adjust when you import the door handle, you want to go to under mesh, go to advanced, and then here add normal import method. You just want to go ahead and set that to import normal and tangents. That will fix a few errors with imports. Just remember to set it back to import normals when you're working with other internet models. So now that we've imported that, we can go ahead and add it to our door. So let's go ahead and open up our BP door. We're going to go to the viewport. Gonna go to the top left to components, click add, and add a new static mesh. We're going to name this door handle. Going to go to the right side to static mesh and add the door handle. Now you can see the door handle is down there. It isn't really in a good position. So let's go ahead and move that. But before we move that, we're going to go to the left side here at the top. Uh, hold and drag the, the door handle onto door so that when the door rotates the door handle rotates with it yeah so now we can also go ahead and just move the door handle up until it fits with uh, the lock here we're just gonna move it up a bit now the thing is, is that it isn't going to fully align so we're going to go to the top right here and you see there's a grid here with a tent that's the snap sizes just click on that Set the snap size to 1. Now you can move it smaller increments. And uh, I think I'm going to leave the lock here. So I'm going to go to the top right again and set snap sizes to 10. You can compile and save. And now we have our door handle. So now we just have to animate it. To do that, we just have to go to the event graph. And here at the timeline, it's the same concept with how we did the door animation. We just have to do it for the handle. Let's go ahead and take this lip, select a uh, set relative rotation, just copy and paste it. And we just connect it here at the end, and we just extend this uh, comment block. Now the set relative rotation target will be the door handle. We'll connect it there. And finally, before we move on, let's actually add a new uh, float track for the door handle on its own. We're going to open up the door timeline, We're going to add a track, We're going to add a flow track, and it's going to be called door uh, handle alpha. Perfect. And this is where we're going to have to make a few changes to our door alpha. So how this door handle alpha works is that when it is zero on the flow curve, that means the door handle hasn't been touched. But when it's one, the door handle is fully down. Now, usually when you open a door, you press the door handle fully down and then you open the door. Then you start like pulling on the door. So we want to actually move this, um, the door opening animation ahead. So we have time to actually open the door handle. So let's go ahead and set the time to, for example, I think 0.2. And then what we do here is we go ahead, we right click on the door handle alpha, add a key, set the time to zero and the value to zero. 
then we add another key and set the time to the start of uh, your door animation and then we're going to go ahead and set that value to one and then how you want to set it back to zero is your choice um, usually when I uh, work with doors, I ease uh, the door handle up quite a lot. So for me, I would rather go and right click, add a key to curve float and set the time to 0 0.8, set the value to 0 because I let go over a long time. But you can set this time to 0 0.4 if you quickly want your handle to shoot back up. So that's your choice, but I'm going to go with 0 0.8 here. And uh, yeah, that should work. We can just compile and save. We can go back to the event graph. And all we have to do is we have to take this door handle and alpha and uh, connect it to this lerp alpha. We'll just go ahead and reroute it under these nodes to make it look a bit cleaner. And then here yeah, the lerp will just have to set a different value from this one because we're not going to do a 90 rotation. Let's go to the viewport. Click on your door handle, press R on your key, uh, not R, press I believe E, yes, E on your keyboard, brings up the rotate uh, function here. So you can just go ahead and rotate the door, check how much you want your door handles to open. For me, I'm going to go about 40 is the way I like my door to open. And uh, let's just take into account what uh, rotation was done. It did a minus 40 on the roll rotation. So I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. Go to my event graph. And now I'm going to um, firstly add minus 40 to the B input. So it rotates minus 40. But also we notice that uh, we actually modified the roll instead of the yaw. So we just want to hold Alt on our keyboard and disconnect the yaw rotation. And connect it to the new rotation roll. And um, yeah, I believe this should work. Let's go ahead and compile and save. If we press E, you can see the door handle opens. But you can also see um, that when I close the door, it actually pulls up the handle again. So even though the opening process is good, uh, the like, closing process might not what you be what you want. So I've noticed in some games that they actually have the animation for opening the door, but they just shut the door close. And I've noticed some people in real life do that as well. I usually just pull the handle when I open and close. But if you want to simulate that door shutting effect where you don't actually pull the handle, it's pretty simple. You just want to expand this comment block, move this lerp and set relative rotation, all this a bit up. Then what we want to do is we want to, okay, firstly, we want to hold B on our keyboard and left click to create a branch node. I'm going to connect that to here. And the condition will be, let's just go to the bottom left to variables, click on components here and get the sort of timeline. Then we want to drag off that and type in is reversing. And so this will check if the animation is currently playing in reverse. Now, if it is playing in reverse, so we're just gonna connect this return value to the condition. If it is playing in reverse, we should not rotate the door handle. So this should be set to false then. And I'll just uh, move this up a bit to clean it. I think move the, these nodes here up a bit as well. And then finally just move this reroute. And I'll just stay. Uh, Okay, this looks uh, way better now. So uh, this should be fully done. Let's go ahead and compile and save. Gonna go ahead and press E. Now the door opens, but when I actually close the door, the animation does not play. Now, um, if you want to make this like a toggleable setting, you can go to your BP door, and all you really have to do is you have to drag off the return value and do an AND boolean. And then you want to drag off the bottom pin and promote to a variable. This variable will be called um, slam door, I guess. That will be good enough. So um, if you want the door to slam, so not play the animation of pulling the door handle, this should be true. Else uh, it should be false if you want to disable this. 
just connect that to the end. Uh, you just connect that to the condition. That's how you do that. Of course, I don't really care about that. But uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit like if you liked the video. Dislike if you didn't. And uh, see you guys hopefully in the next one when it's not a door tutorial. Uh, yeah, and uh, goodbye everybody.